I'm glad I bought this sweatshirt yesterday because it is once again a very cold day here at Walt Disney World. We may get lucky again, it might warm up later in the day, but unfortunately right now it is about 40 degrees, it is only supposed to get colder uh, as the day goes on. But no matter the weather, hot or cold, I am always happy for this site right here, Cinderella's Castle. And this is especially great to see for me because I was here for the very controversial yet iconic 25th anniversary birthday cake castle. For real though, I'm gonna need it to warm up very soon because my hands are very, very cold. We did pay for the Genie Plus add-on today, so we're gonna see uh, how that works, how we feel about it. Our first one is in about a half hour, so we're gonna try and get on um, another ride before Haunted Mansion. If there is one thing I love, it is a boat ride. Let's do Pirates of the Caribbean. For today is going to be don't lose your charger anywhere because we've done that twice now okay so right off the bat my first thing with the genie plus lightning lane is you can only book them one at a time uh, the previous fast pass system was three at a time and then when you use those you could book more with this it is one lightning lane you have to wait to use that one or wait an hour after booking uh, to book your next one. And it is time to head back to Liberty Square for our Haunted Mansion Lightning Lane. All right, now as for weather, buying Genie Plus is worth it. The next to us here is the standby line. And we are in the Lightning Lane line, which is about at the same spot. The standby line does wrap around a little bit more. We'll see how long it takes. We are getting in line with the Lightning Lane at 10.30 a.m. They did end up opening one switchback for the Lightning Lane, but the one switchback for Lightning Lane is nothing compared to the multiple that you are going to get in the standby line. At 10.45, we sat down in our Doom buggy, so 15 minutes versus the standbys posted 35. So far with that one, definitely worth it. We're gonna go get something to eat now. Something small, because we do have a bigger dinner planned tonight at Steakhouse 71, and I don't want to be too full for that. And we've picked Pico's Bill and the 1971 meal. You've got your beef nachos, side of rice, and a drink. Your meal also comes with a 50th anniversary themed cake pop. Now the 1971 meal is of course named after the year that Magic Kingdom first opened, but it also relates to the price of the meal. All of that was 1971, which honestly 
is a little overpriced for what you get. Our next lightning lane isn't for a little while, so we are heading back over to Tomorrowland and get a couple of rides in before that. Only a 45 minute wait for Space Mountain. We are getting in line at 12.45, posted for a 45 minute wait. Now Space Mountain is one of those attractions that is an individual lightning lane not included in our Genie Plus purchase. So we're going to see how close that 45 minutes is. So a little closer to 50 minutes, but it was pretty accurate. So not bad at all. Uh, next we're going to go into Fantasyland. There is something about Space Mountain, no matter how many times I ride it, no matter how safe I know it is, I always find myself just like folding in on myself, worrying that I'm gonna lose my head. Of course, that's never gonna happen, but I don't know what it is. Thankfully though, that is not going to be a problem at our next ride, which is The Little Mermaid. I was able to book this one while we were in line for Space Mountain because even though our next lightning lane is gonna be for Big Thunder later in the day and we haven't used it yet, you can book another one if an hour passes between bookings. I've been waiting for you. Oh, this is such a great... good but the second you walk in here all of that sugar hits your nose and it's amazing as great as it smelled in there though we gotta go because it's time for the, the wildest ride in the wilderness big thunder mountain is included in that 15 dollars genie plus charge that you pay for the day it got us through a 50 minute wait for about five minutes Across from Big Thunder the Mountain, we have the rafts that take you to and from Tom Sawyer Island. I've never gone on those before in my life. I'm really interested in uh, what's over there, so I might make that a future video uh, next time I come down here. If you find your feet are hurting and you need a little break, the Enchanted Tiki Room is a really good place to sit down for a few minutes. And if you're like this one here, who actually enjoys it, uh, it does have some pretty catchy songs. Rascal you! Let's put on the show! <laughs> Tiki Room is also great for anybody who loves really cheesy dad jokes or who needs to get out of the weather for a minute, like me. themed um, Disney merchandise and this is a patch here that I would actually really love on my denim jacket. I'm gonna have to think about that one. We also have a Citizen Mickey Mouse watch here for $250. You're a watch guy. Mm -hmm. Would you pay that? Yeah. And then this lunchbox here was part of the membership box for D23 members last year. I wonder if it has the pins inside. No pins, so that one was exclusive to D23, but if you want a really cool vintage lunchbox, you can get it here. We also have a retro thermos. That one did not come in that D23 box, so whether you're D23 or not, you might need a thermos for that lunchbox. And we have more patches with Mickey 
Minnie, got Donald, Goofy's down here. All of them featuring that 1971 emblem, but I think I am sticking with this one from earlier. I do have to say I really love the ability to mobile check out in the gift shops here because sometimes those gift shops can get really crowded, really busy. Everybody is going this way and that. And for me personally, I get very claustrophobic. My anxiety starts acting up. And then to have to get in a really long line to check out after all of that, it's really nice to be able to just scan my stuff, show it to the cast member after I have uh, paid it through my phone and get out. We've got some more friends up here with, with Tigger, Pooh, Piglet, Rabbit, and way over on the end is Eeyore. I know a lot of people miss those old school character meet and greets from pre-COVID time, and I'm very happy those are on their way back, but there is just something about even these simple little waving from the top of buildings that just adds to the magic of Disney World. Hopefully going forward, as uh, more traditional meet and greets come back into play, we'll still get some of these surprise little visits from our favorite friends. It's all good, we're moving again. We are moving. It's time to move some more. We're moving. Get it, people, mover. Bad joke. At the Tomorrowland Speedway, put the pedal to the metal and speed towards the checkered flag in your very own race car. So we have some panels going up over at Tron, which is really great. We're getting some momentum going on that. Hopefully when D23 rolls around later this year, we will actually get a projected opening. And we are actually going to be at D23 come September. So when that happens, we will hopefully, if that happens, I should say, we'll be there here. Elsa has definitely been in town these past couple days. I am sufficiently frozen. So we are gonna take the monorail over to Contemporary a little bit early so we can sit down, relax, and warm up. We're going to Steakhouse 71 for dinner tonight. I'm not gonna be vlogging in there at Anthony's request, but I am going to have a full review on my Instagram same name, Tyler the Tourist. While we wait for that, because it's not going to be for another hour or so, let's check out some of this. In here we've got Eternals merchandise. There's this wall of pins in here and they have Forte from Beauty and the Beast and the Enchanted Christmas. That's crazy. I didn't think that there would be anything for him anywhere. He is not really a popular character at all. It's not a popular movie at all. I may need to get that before today is over. And also this villains version of Clue looks really cool. The villains are up to no good once again, causing mischief and mayhem within their vile realms. A mysterious spell has opened the passages to nine realms, once forbidden, to the six diabolical villains, and now each wants what the other has. Do you dare enter the villain's lairs to find out which villain stole which enchanted object and uncover where it is hidden? That honestly sounds like it could be a season of Once Upon a Time. I miss that show. Hi folks, so it is the next day and I realized I never actually got around to giving my final thoughts on the Disney Genie Plus service. Now this is a $15 service that replaced the FastPass system that they were holding before the COVID shutdowns. So the functions are very similar. You're just paying now for the service. 
we were there on a Saturday, so it was definitely something very needed. However, the question of whether it is worth the cost of $15 per person is something different. There were only two people on this trip, which meant that it was $30 for the day. Uh, if you are a family, if you have kids, obviously you're gonna need to do the math on that one. I would say that it is not worth it if you are going at a less busy time. If you're going at a busier time, it is definitely worthwhile to have, but do that math beforehand and decide if it is going to be worth spending $15 for you and your family, again, per person, or if waiting in the lines is a better option. I would say that it was most useful for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. That was a 50 minute wait we got through in about five minutes. Uh, the other ones that we used it for were lines that I wouldn't have minded waiting in the standby for, but it did give us that option to ride other things in that space between. Also underneath that orange sweatshirt I was wearing yesterday, I was wearing a shirt uh, that I got on Etsy from a shop called Walt This Way with a really fun Patagonia inspired design. It was too cold for me to actually be walking around in just a t-shirt yesterday, but I did want to shout them out and their shop is going to be linked down below. All right, folks, that is going to be it for today's video. And look, I never lost my charger. The curse is broken. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help the channel out and follow along. We have one more day here in Disney and a lot more planned uh, in the coming months.